Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about are AP classes worth it? Now, in high school, you can take AP, IB, or AP classes if your high school chooses it, but you need to know beforehand if it's even worth it to consider taking these types of classes. Now, AP, IB, and AIDS are both college credit classes where if you take the classes, pass the exams, bada bing, bada boom, you save money on college. And hence, we like to save money over here, okay? Like, we don't want to be up in college for four years, spending thousands and thousands of dollars having to take out loans. Like, loans is not it. That's not the money move. And so that's why a lot of high school students consider taking AP, IB, or AIDS. Now, the thing about AP, IB, and AIDS is that it's a struggle, okay? Like, taking these classes is a huge, huge struggle because you could be passing the classes for AP, IB, and A to pass them classes, right? But if you fail them exams, baby, you're not getting any of that credit that you worked for. Like, you could be doing really mighty fine in AP history. Come that AP history test, you get a two. Or, you know, you get whatever the, the failing score is for A, I, B. Or you get a U for ACE. Um, yeah, you're going to either have to take that again or you're going to have to take the history class equivalent to it in college, meaning you got to spend more money and waste more time in college. And no, we're not here to waste time. Another reason why you would not want to take these classes is just what's the point of stressing out about these classes, trying to you know, get your best score you can get in those classes, but when you take the exam, you fail it. Or if you even do pass, if you pass some exams, some of those classes that you took in AP, IB, or ACE, they're not going to count towards all of the classes for college that you would need for your first two years. Like, if you take AP English and you get, let's say, a three, that's great. You got a three, you pass. That only covers composition one, English one for college, okay? Only covers one. Meaning, you still gonna have to take English two when you get to college, or you have to try to get a better score and retake the AP exam because you need at least a four or a five for it to count for both English classes. And for ACE, baby, even if you took ACE English and you pass, that's great. That only counts for one English class. You're going to have to take the A level of ACE English in order for it to count for two. So not only are you stressing about just passing one, now you got to stress about passing two, three, four, five at a time because you're basically retaking the class over. But to take a different type of exam. And it, it's not worth it. It's honestly not worth the time, the effort, the struggle. It's not worth it, okay? Now, because we already know taking these classes, like, they hella stressful. They they pulling out people's hair is type of stressful. They crying, sitting up all day type stressful going to sleep for like maybe an hour, two hours, three hours a night. There is another option to it. Hooray! Now, instead of taking, you know, ACE, AP, IB classes, you can go ahead and just take dual enrollment classes. Now, dual enrollment classes also give you college credit, except you don't got to worry about passing the exam. If you pass the class, you get the credit. Easy peasy. Simple. A, B, C, one, two, three type deal. Okay? Now, with dual enrollment classes, in order to be able to take the, the classes, you first do have to pass the test. 
you know, you got to pass English, writing, and a math exam just in order to be qualified to take these classes. <laughs> And the reason why they make you take these they take these exams ahead of time is because they want to make sure that okay if we let you take these college classes because yes they are college classes they're not like ap where it's college credit classes they're actually college classes you'll be taking these classes at the local community college okay but you will still be getting double the credit so you'll get the college credit and you'll get the high school credit so they gotta make sure that you know you're able to handle these classes and so once you pass them exams bada bing bada boo you go ahead to take whatever classes that you want to take that is in you know their course schedule they'll give you a list like okay you want to take english arts dance music you know your core classes whatever they'll let you take it They'll give you the college credit once you pass those exams and whatever college you go to, those transfer into whatever classes at those colleges they equate to. And at that point, you ain't got to worry about taking those classes again because you already took them while you was in high school. And also, you already got the high school credit. It boosts up your GPA really, really high and you ain't got to stress because community college classes they are not that rigorous okay but you do have to study you know you have to study but they're not as rigorous as you know ace ap and ib because it's these teachers these professors that are making these exams for you giving you the homework all that they're the ones grading you and if they give you extra credit they give you extra credit okay and so that's why instead of just doing ap ace i be like all the guidance counselors, you know, tell you. Go ahead and get you and do you some dual enrollment, okay? Because you get to do these classes for free, okay? They, it counts towards your actual college classes. So when you in college, instead of doing, you know, your first year or second year, you could probably go into college as a junior, as a sophomore, already got done most of your credits because you did dual enrollment with ap ace and ib it takes a bit longer to gather up those credits and you know apply them to your college credits also sometimes certain colleges may not take certain credits depending on what class it is and so that's why you should just do dual enrollment thank you for watching this video if you like what i was talking about go ahead and leave a like on this video comment down below what you think i should talk about in my next video and subscribe and leave a bell so you can get notified when i continue posting bye